Hey retro tech heads, does your old Sony CCD video camera have a cloudy image problem? I think I may know why. Stay tuned. Today in the lab, we're going to discuss a common issue I've come across quite often when buying mostly old Sony CCD video cameras from the 80s. So did you ever pick up an old Sony CCD V110 or maybe even a BMC 550 on eBay, and when it arrives at your home, you tear open the box, you power up the camera, only to find that the image is very soft or even looks kind of cloudy? Now, you might think, okay, maybe the lens is dirty, or I don't know, maybe some dust or dirt got somewhere inside the lens barrel. But when you zoom in and out or you adjust the camera's focus, that soft look or the cloudiness does not change. The problem may go beyond the lens and have more to do with the CCD itself. So I thought, you know, there's got to be something going on with the CCD which is causing this problem, but how do I know for sure? Well, quite simply, I have to take the camera apart to find out what's going on with the image sensor. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, uh, Dave, that's going to destroy my beloved camera. Well, you know what? You are absolutely right. The camera will indeed be totally trashed when you're done taking it apart. But don't fear, don't fret, because today I'm willing to sacrifice one of my cameras so you don't have to. Yes, my friends, I am going to dissect this old Sony BMC 550 in the name of science, knowledge, or quite simply just for the hell of it. So you can relax because I got this. But before we start to tear apart this BMC 550 like a roasted turkey on Thanksgiving Day, we will need a saw and a drill. <laughs> Actually, what we really need is uh, a little screwdriver and a pair of pliers, and that's about it. Let's begin, shall we? All right, this is gonna take a while. So first, so what we wanna do There we go. So we're trying to get into here because here's the lens, the lens barrel. The CCD has to be in here somewhere, right? So I don't know if I can take just this apart, but let's see if we can. Yanking this stuff with a big ribbon cable. Well, here's the inside. Look, there you go. Well, I can't even. So one of the issues I come across a lot with these BMC 550s and 660s, on the video drum, you can see this crud that's on there, like right there. Um, maybe you can get it in a better focus there, possibly. Uh, but you have this crud. I think what's happened is a cassette has sat in here for so long that over time, the particles on the tape just kind of bonded themselves to the video drum and uh, they cause that, that yuckiness. I mean, I guess I could try to clean it, but it's probably a little late right now for that. Uh, but there you go, that's what we have so far. I'm just gonna cut all this away. Oh, look at that, it's just coming apart on its own. Hey, we have separation. Wow, look at that. We have separation. So, I'm all done with this. You know what, I gotta get to right there, I believe. That's my guess is where I have to dig into in order to get uh, to the CCD so we can see uh, what's going on with that. So we just keep on tearing it apart. Ooh, it's coming out. Ho 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 ho! Eureka! <laughs> I got to the CCD and oh, nuggets, look at that. With my initial observation, I can see one thing right away that is a problem. Uh, and I'll get a close up of this. Uh, there's like a little frame thing here and there's this cloudiness that is in front of, uh, it's like a piece of glass that must be in front of the image sensor, which is in here. Wow, how interesting. I can't wait to take these two screws off. 
But one other thing too is, so just so you can see, uh, in here is you have the lens, so the light travels through here, right? And then it comes through here and the image sensor sits right, right in here like that. How neat is that? In front of the CCD image sensor, there is a little glass block. Now I'm wondering if that is the culprit because it's got all this gunk on the outside and surprisingly enough on the inside of the glass block as well. Now the block appears to be made up of about four layers of glass, which I think is interesting because I wonder how they bonded that glass together if indeed it is bonded together. I think sacrificing this Sony Betamovie camcorder was well worth the knowledge we gained from its destruction. That wraps up another edition of our show. I am Dave, your lab tech, and I want to thank you for stopping by the lab. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks and take care.